Hey, what's going on people? Really, really quick lesson for my beginners out there. And you may know this, you may not, but the first scale you need to learn and the most important scale you'll ever learn is the major scale. I'm gonna show you a way to play this. I'm gonna show you a pattern, a formula to play this and you can move this across the fretboard once you learn this one formula. Now there's other ways to play it, don't get me wrong, but I think this is the most simplest way for beginners. So we got two, four, one, two, four. Now we're talking about positioning and finger numbers here. We're using the fingers, the numbers of our fingers to be able to map this out. Two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Now you can move this and play this anywhere. It's gonna be the same exact thing, just in a different key. And a way to remember this is like memorizing a telephone number, right? Call 241-24134, right? Memorizing the telephone number, very, very simple. Hey guys, real quick, sorry to interrupt, but I had to mention this. If you're serious, only if you're serious about taking your bass playing to the next level, I get tons of questions all the time. Derek, do you have programs? Do you have lessons? Do you have a course? Absolutely, we have everything you need at Bass Nation Academy. We have courses, we have live classes, you have more direct access to me um, to be able to answer your questions and get feedback. We have a video Q&A section. It's a ton of stuff, check it out for yourself. Link is gonna be in the description. Don't wanna take too much time away from the lesson, but anyway, had to mention that. Check you guys later. So once you move that, same exact formula. That's A. That's E flat. That's F, right? Same exact formula, but moving it around the fretboard. Very, very simple. Not only that, you wanna number the scale degrees. Scale degrees just meaning the each note in simple terms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're just numbering the notes that you're playing in order. How simple is that, right? You're just counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then back to one. All right, that's our rule, right? We go back to one. And we start the process all over again. Two, two, three, four, five. You get the idea, right? Once you keep going up in another octave. Okay, so let's not go there just yet. But the reason why that's important to be able to number the notes is because it's the basis of all music, right? A lot of music is just written, well, all music is written, even if it's altered in any way, it derives from major scale. Anything that we're referencing, we're just referencing the major scale. <laughs> so a lot of songs are just made up of these numbers. A lot of bass lines are made up of these numbers. And you'll start to understand more and more that you play the connection. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, yeah, let's try this. Let's just say, for instance, I said to you, now stay with me now. I said to you, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five, six, three, four, one, two, five, one. You'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? It sounds like you're, you know, calling off raffle numbers or lottery tickets or something like that. But that's to the normal person. But to a superhuman basis, like we are, or to another musician, it may mean something completely different like this. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five, six, three, four, one, two, five, one. You get the idea, right? So obviously J5, Michael Jackson, I want you back. All music is derived from the major scale. Right there in that bass line, I literally, literally, can't talk, I literally played the scale going backwards. That's why it's important to understand numbers at the same time. Connect these things as soon as possible, as soon as you possibly can. Connect the numbers with the scale degrees, just the numbers of the notes in simpler terms. And you'll be surprised, you'll be amazed how far you'll get and how much you'll understand how important the major scale is.